Hey, this guy's running my scheme. I think that's one of my, uh, that's one of my channel members on the YouTube channel. That's funny. Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today here on the Tanner Holmes YouTube channel, we are gonna be bringing an iRacing video to you guys. So over the past couple of months, we've done quite a few different types of videos here on the YouTube channel. One of the main ones have been our Red Bluff Outlaw vlogs, that's just the usual. The other one has been shop videos, videos of us working in the shop, getting stuff done during our 2020, 2021 off season. And then the third video that you've seen kind of regularly on the channel is a few iRacing videos. And during this time of year, we really like to mix it up, but we like to bring the iRacing videos to you guys because we just race a little bit less in the winter than we do in the summertime. There's less content to put on the channel. And iRacing provides an outlet for us to get the feel of what it's like to race the game has rose in popularity over the last 365 days. One of my favorite things about iRacing, if you guys have never heard of it, is it gives racers the opportunity, if they've never got the chance to race one, to kind of get the competition feel and what it's like to be behind the wheel. But also as a racer myself, there's plenty of cars and tracks that I've never got the opportunity to run at. So for example, it gives you the chance to see what it's like to be at Eldora or Knoxville and be behind the wheel of a 410 wing sprint car and how it goes around the place. So for today's iRacing video, we are gonna be running one of the official races, which the official races are servers that are put up by iRacing and count towards your overall rating in the game. And we are gonna be competing in the 360 sprint car at the Cedar Lake Speedway. Cedar Lake's one of their newest additions to the service. And I have had a lot of fun turning laps around that joy in any car that I do. But let's just jump right into today's video. We're going to be rolling off from 15th, which I kind of explained why we're rolling off from so deep. But man, these iRacing videos in the offseason are just a bunch of fun. Let me know where you want to see us run next. So we are doing a little bit of late night iRacing here to finish off 2020. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what our racing schedule really looks like for these next couple of weeks. A few of the racetracks we thought we were gonna be able to compete at, I'm just not sure if they're gonna be able to run or not. A lot of it has to do with Oregon's rules and regulations with the pandemic. And I know Roseburg did just post that they're having a race today, which would be this weekend. And we really wanna make it to that, but we'll just have to see and I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, the iRacing will have to do as you guys know how I like to do it, uh, when we do run our official races, I think it's more fun to start in the back and see how many cars we can pass. So we're rolling off from 15th in this wing 360 sprint car race at the Cedar Lake Speedway. Cedar Lake's a lot of fun. I've got the chance to run a bunch of laps around here already in a bunch of different cars. So let's see how we do. Hopefully we can avoid the first couple laps of chaos. Trying to just stay off of everyone. I know that we're gonna be really quick once we get out on our own here. He's straight, far high, bud. The fence is so good in one and two and three sixties. It's actually nuts. How about like three laps ago, that 54 car was blinking all over the place and we literally just went right through him. Sometimes you almost have to hold your breath when you're trying to pass people around the outside. One of the crazy things about Cedar Lake is uh, how how the top is in one and two compared to three and four. Like one and two, it's fast and you can hold it really, uh, you can be on the gas a ton, but three and four, it almost like flattens off like a shelf. So you have to take that into consideration with how you run the top. Wow, I'm surprised we just went eight laps. That felt a lot longer than eight laps, but eight laps without a yellow. So uh, a pretty good field of cars here to not have wrecked. Usually official races, there's a wreck or two in the first few laps. So we just got the one to green. Uh, I was kind of trying to take it easy there. 
Had a few aggressive moves, and like I said, I was literally like right in the center of the cockpit of that one car when they blinked or my, I, my internet connection or something happened. But uh, we're about halfway through the field. Not a lot of guys are up around the high side right now, and I think part of it's because how the track wore in, the bottom actually was pretty good. Usually this place is super fast around the top, and it is right now, but uh, the bottom definitely has a little bit of grip, or at least did to start the race. Gotta be careful. Three and four is tricky. Right on the wall. Good little slider battle there for a couple corners. See if we can uh, get into third here. Hey, this guy's running my scheme. I think that's one of my uh, that's one of my channel members on the YouTube channel. That's funny. See if we can do a little crossover line. That actually worked to catch a little bit of grip. Yellow. All right. This should make it interesting. This Tyler Tyler guy's pretty quick out front. Uh, we were just able to sneak into second racing with Austin. And like I said, Austin has my paint scheme on. So that's actually really funny. Like seeing my scheme on someone else's car. So we're getting the one to go here. Here's the game plan. Depending on how I fire off, either I slide him down in turns one and two or try to like roll the middle. Like I said, depending on how I fire off. And if one and two doesn't go to plan, then in three and four, I think I'm going to try to do that diamond line because I felt like that worked really, really well passing for second. Maybe it'll work passing for the lead. About to go green. Stay focused. Oh, he's going to wait till the last second. Green, green, green. He just schooled me on that start. I got in a bad spot to where I couldn't even see him. I think that uh, line in three and four is actually pretty good. One and two is a gnarly curve. Heck, we're just gonna go for it. Put some pressure on the leader. All right, we got the lead. The banking here in three and four is, is key to be able to use, because like I said, I kind of started diamonding off there when I was catching that leader, and that seemed to work really well. White flag, one more lap. This place is definitely an up on the wheel track, 
And I honestly don't have the greatest lead here, so we're gonna block the slider last lap. That should be good enough. What a fun race. Started 15th, brought home the win. A lot of green flag laps. That's all you can ask for in an official race. Uh, hosted, it's a lot harder to get green flag laps in, but what a fun one. Gotta drive it into a Cedar Lake victory lane. I think we pulled in backwards. Well, that was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed watching that, please slap a like on this video. iRacing's a blast, especially during the off season when we just don't get as much of that competition feel. We're not on the racetrack as much. And iRacing provides a great outlet for us to just turn some laps, get on some new racetracks, and try different cars that we've never got the opportunity to be behind the wheel of. Anyway, though, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully, you guys all had a fun and successful 2020. And thank you so much for riding along with me through all of the ups and the downs. It means so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. We will talk soon. Deuces.